So how do I choose between a stationary, a rolling, and a floating dock? Floating docks are best for deep water with very mucky bottoms or tidal bodies of water and rivers with substantial currents. Rolling docks are best for shallow water with applications that require dock removal. And stationary docks are best for permanent docks and where rolling docks are not practical at all. All docks are designed with easy installation in mind. Lightweight construction and drop-in decking will make owning a dock practical for anyone. They're all modular, so you can change the shape or configuration easily. How does water depth impact my dock? Well, water depth affects the dock you choose. Generally, if the water is more than five to seven feet at the end of your dock, or if muck is deeper than one foot, you'll want to consider a floating dock instead of a rolling or a stationary dock. How does my shoreline affect my dock? The approach to your floating dock requires consideration. All floating dock packages include one eight-foot ramp, followed by the floating portion of the dock. For example, a 24-foot T-shaped dock will include an eight-foot ramp, followed by a 16-foot T-shaped floating portion. The ramp can swing up or down on a hinge. It is key to anchor your floating dock well enough so the ramp can rest on the shoreline, or it can be hinged to the shoreline with extra hinge kits. Ramps can mount or rest on grass, sand, cement, seawalls, and more. In cases where the ramp will often pull the floating dock down, extra floats may be helpful. Gangways can also help bridge the gap between the dock and the shore. Patriot Docks offers an eight foot or a 16 foot gangway, which can substitute for the ramp. This will require you to add floats under the frame that you're converting from a ramp to a floating section. How will I use the dock? Patriot docks will be used for boat slips, swimming docks and platforms, mooring your watercraft, fishing and recreation, storing and launching kayaks or canoes, and creating shoreline platforms and extensions. The options are limitless with our modular design. T-shaped configurations favor dock recreation and tying off your boat can be done directly to the dock frame. Canal floating docks are best on narrow waterways where the floating dock runs parallel to the shore. Patriot Docks offers a standard floating dock and a premium floating dock with extra stability floats. Any dock accessory will mount directly to the dock frame. This is done by drilling holes in the location where you'd like to add your accessory. This makes for an ultra strong connection. Hinges allow you to best distribute weight on a dock that is floating on the water. Hinges are generally recommended every 16 feet of linear dock. Consult a dock professional today for ways to customize your dock packages to meet your unique shoreline. So how do I anchor my dock? Well, anchoring systems may vary based on what application you're in, but shallower water, like under four or five feet, favor piling supports, and deeper water favor dead man weights, cables, or stiff arm anchoring systems. You can also use multiple types of anchors on one floating dock system. But note, the full anchoring system is not included with Patriot dock packages but all dock packages come with piling sleeves that